Imagine paying your bills with cryptocurrency. I'm Natish Bassano, and two city councillors are prepared to invest in that idea, but not everyone is buying in. It strikes me as a, you know, a potentially very costly proposition to, to accept payment in a currency which is not our own. A potentially costly idea that councillors Norm Kelly and Chin Lee have an interest in. The recommendations to city council to request revenue services staff to review the possibility of accepting cryptocurrency as a form of payment for municipal property taxes, utilities, parking violations and municipal land transfer taxes and to report back to city council in the second quarter of 2018. According to the councilman, Toronto as a world-class city and a leader in technological innovation should be one of the first to explore the possibility. But many taxpayers might have a few questions, especially when dealing with the likes of Bitcoin, which can be worth a lot today and absolutely nothing tomorrow. A peak of almost $19,000 to begin the year. It's come down, though, since then by almost 10000 This is what you call a volatile chart. It's not something the city should be, should be interested in. It just doesn't make sense for them. And my question is, like, how do you even pay your bills? Suppose, you know, if your bill is $200 and uh, you pay 200 and your currency, your cryptocurrency goes up. You could be pretty upset about that too, right? Because now you're paying more. Yeah. And if it goes down, now you owe more. No, it doesn't work. It's not going to happen, I don't think. Digital currency being used on a day-to-day -day basis is nothing new. Countries like Estonia and Dubai use it. The key, according to one expert, is to have a proper digital payment strategy. When people talk about a currency being supported by government, at its core what it means is that the government accepts payments for taxes in that particular currency. So if we stop doing that, I don't know, then we stop actually supporting the Canadian dollar too. There's an implication for that. But again, it's not a bad idea to think about how can we use modern technology in city services. Now, this motion is expected to be discussed on Wednesday at the Executive Committee. We'll have to wait and see what kind of return on investment the recommendations will receive. Natish Bassono, City News.